This is a quick video to talk about the intervalometer. This is a built-in feature to the Nikon D5200 and it allows you to take time-lapse movies. So I'm going to get into the feature by pressing the menu button, coming down to the shooting menu, and I could scroll all the way to the bottom, but I'm going to skip that and scroll uh, reverse up to the top, which takes me to the bottom where I can find interval timer shooting. I'm going to press OK to get into the settings. So the first option I have is to choose the start time. I can start it now, or I can schedule it to start at some point in the future. It might be nice to schedule it to start in a half an hour or something, and you can set it up high where you're not going to be able to reach it when the exciting thing happens that you're about to capture. But for right now, I'm just going to say now. The interval. This is set on hours, minutes, or seconds. Right now, it's set to take a picture every minute. Let's change that to every three seconds. And I'm just clicking to write. How many times do I want it to take a picture? I'm going to set it on the maximum in this case and then talk about that as a limitation. So 999 frames, 999 frames played back at a frame rate of 24 frames per second is really only going to give you about 40 seconds of movie. That's not a terrible thing, but it can certainly be limiting for longer uh, longer events like a flower blooming or things of that sort which you really want to capture over a longer period of time it's simply 999 frames you're going to run out of those fairly quickly even if you extend your interval go back a second even if you extend your interval how often it takes a picture to be a greater number so if you're really serious about time lapses you want to look at getting a separate intervalometer or running the Trigger Trap app, both of which I've talked about those at some future point, and there should be links floating around on the screen right now. Okay, but let's say those settings are all good. Now I'm gonna choose on, to make sure my focus is off, and timer is now active, and it should take a picture, and every three seconds, it should take a picture. Now, I don't have anything exciting going on, but I will uh, maybe throw up here a quick time lapse of some snow falling or something else if I can find it in my archives before. So this, it's really neat that this is built into the camera. Um, and as far as I can tell, the only way to stop it is to turn the camera off and then back on. Um, so if you are running the timer and you want to stop it, you need to turn the camera off and then back on. So it's a really neat way. It's nice that it's built in, certainly usable. But again, if you're serious about uh, time lapses, uh, you want to look at getting an intervalometer device or um, use the Trigger Trap app. And there are other ones out there as well. So I hope this was useful. Lots more Nikon D5200 videos coming. If you have any questions about this camera, please let me know. You can leave a comment down below or even better, come over and find me on the Facebook page and there are giveaways there from time to time, plus lots of tips and things that aren't just videos. Thanks for watching.